everyone want to achieve more than they do now, want to have or bring more value, and still they are scared or forget about the traits that actually push you forward and improve you. The habits I'm gonna outline in this video are very easy to implement in your daily routine and they actually make a big difference. You will feel better, complete more tasks and just improve the way you see the world around you. From this to this. The first habit is to show less emotion. Warning, this habit is for men only and not for girls. The thing is, as a male, you have this ability to control your feelings and emotions. You can control your frustration, anger or sadness, though most of you still don't do it like this guy can't stop raging. Like you definitely have a friend or know a guy that is really sensitive. When you say to him that, you know, you're doing the wrong stuff now, this is not so good for you, you better really go and hit legs than play gym simulator. And these words for him are like an EMOTIONAL DAMAGE And he starts screaming and saying shut up instead of yeah, you're right, I need to fix it, it's my problem And this is so powerful that it can prevent you from getting offended or other negative emotion from the circumstances around you Like if someone made a stupid joke, you're like meh, I don't really care that much But if it is too personal or too offensive, you should stand up for yourself Someone didn't invite you to the place, whatever I can still use this time in an entertaining way, doing the things I like or the things I need. Even if you hit your little finger, can't stand it. Like while others will feel sad and depressed, though less productive and not enjoying their day. You can actually filter this and focus on the tasks you need to do without anything that can stop you. Not only will you be less affected by the environment around you, but generously be more happy. Second habit is to be fine with failing. A lot of people nowadays live in such great comfort that they're actually so scared to fail. They think that if I do not succeed from the first try, that, that, that means I'm trash and it is too hard for me. Like how can you master something if you do not have experience? How can this guy master the dance without being seen as an idiot before? Even your knowledge wouldn't fully prevent you from your fails and massive L's as the world always changes and the knowledge gets outdated. That's why the people with, as we say, case studies or experience are the leading ones. But how do you get this experience? Try and fail. Without fails, you won't improve. You need to understand that no matter what you do, you will fail. Yes, always. But overcoming it and not giving up will bring great results. Like for example, you wouldn't be able to walk now if your younger self didn't fall and stand up again and try one more time. And the previous habit of being less sensitive works really well with this one, as if you master to control your emotions, you wouldn't get frustrated and angry because of your losses and continue pushing while others will give up. And think who is gonna be greater in future, you who failed a lot but never gave up or a random guy that never even tried. The third habit and the last one that also correlates well with the previous ones is to learn. Always learn. But I do not mean random stuff like the school one. Of course, they teach us something new that we didn't know before, but let's admit it, that system is fucked. Like what skill would you rather learn? How to find this side of a triangle or how to build a successful online business? I can personally say that I started learning only at the age of 14 when I actually started to wonder what am I gonna do in my future life. I started investigating the niches that I'll definitely need to know about in my future life. For example, social media marketing. Later, in about a month's time, I'll start posting videos about the business I'm about to start with the skills. Same with you, you feel that art was the greatest thing ever invented by a human, then go and learn different styles and techniques. You feel like dropshipping is the best thing to do, then go and learn about it. Get the knowledge of how to sell online and which countries aren't really friendly with the restrictions. And the habit of controlling your emotion and be okay to fail really correlate with this one. Learning will help to save you from the different mistakes you do, being okay with failing will keep your head up, and being able to control your emotion will help you deal with the fails easier. So always learn, fail, and keep yourself in your hands. Subscribe if you enjoyed, and see you in seven days. Bye.